no, no. You like the way I flick my tongue or no? Alright yo, what's going on guys, it's Jinx or Missionary and today I'm coming at you with another editing tutorial. Um, this tutorial is pretty cool, it's a really nice effect that uh, lots of people actually do add to their edits and it puts a little nice spice to your edit. This is called the, um, I think it's pronounced Vignetta effect, uh, I really don't know. But yeah, anyways, let's get started into the tutorial. So you're pretty much just going to want to put down markers um, to where you want the effect to start and to end. And so I'm starting it when he shoots the XPR and then when he shoots. So uh, all you're going to want to do is look up cookie cutter in your presets. Everyone should have it for Sony. And yeah, at the start, you're going to see um, it adds, you know, these black things and makes a circle. Um, but that is not what we want. So I actually have a preset for my vignette that I actually use. So copy down these um, presets right here. And yeah, just pause the video and copy these down. And you should be good to go. So anyways, let's get started. You're going to want to be animating these sides. So we're going to click animate down here. And you just want to go to the marker where you want um, it to begin. And you're going to drag this keyframe to there. And then um, you're going to want to go five frames before. And then you're going to want to change the size to... Um, Uh, 0.500 or just around there that's actually the uh, default size for um, you know no shading and stuff on the edges so then we're gonna go to where we want it to end and we're gonna if I could bring this up real quick you don't want to add a keyframe because you still want the uh, vignette effect right there and then you're just gonna want to go one two three four five frames out and put the size up to 500 or around there make sure it is above 500 though and um, you know you could do a lot of cool things with this effect um, like say for instance every single time he shoots the XPR I want it to you know go in more or something like that but this is for tutorial purposes um, so yeah um, also to add a really cool effect what I like to do is um, go to your audio and just split that uh, to where the vignette vignetta effect actually is and you're gonna wanna um, go to audio event FX and click amplitude modulation and I already have this preset but it's a muffle preset it's muffle audio so copy these presets down if you want muffle audio um, and yeah, if you want a tutorial on it, um, I could do that too. But anyways, we are gonna um, preview this really quick, just to show you, you know, the effect it has on it. Yeah, so as you see, it has a really cool effect, and with the muffled audio, um, if you know, if it doesn't sound right or anything, um, like. Um, I don't really think that sounded too good. I kind of want it to be, you know, less uh, of a sound. So you can just easily drag this audio down and maybe turn this down a bit. Maybe like 0.9 or something. And then once you play it, it's a lot quieter. So yeah, it's a lot quieter and it's muffled and everything is all synced up. So yeah, guys, this is pretty much it for this tutorial. Um... I don't know it just adds a really cool effect and a lot of people use it of course uh, you can definitely modify the size and stuff if you want it more and you know do more cool effects with it but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this story if you did let's try to smash 20 likes and thank you guys for all the support recently I've been getting amazing feedback on my videos you know I want to do more variety of videos I want to do you know graphics editing and cog because I do all of that so Anyways, if you guys enjoy, remember to drop a like again. It's from Zinx or Mason. I'm out. See you. Have a great rest of your day.